Welcome guys again. This is the tutorial number three. In this tutorial, we're gonna take us for the tire. So let's begin. I will uh, turn on the tire and turn off the other uh, objects, wheel and logo. Don't forget to choose the tire from here. First, I need to add a fill layer. And the color will be black or, uh, or gray, dark gray like this for roughness I need to adjust roughness to something like this almost 0.5 now it's cool I don't need the height or normal for now in the roughness, I can add um, a grunge uh, map from uh, from the shelf. I will write here dirt. I will choose this one, a grunge rough DRT, and put it in the roughness. And as you see, this map breaks the clarity of the roughness. And after that, you can adjust it by adding a level or go to the parameters of balance and edit them as you want, as you like. This seems nice. Manipulate the balance. All right, that's good. After that, in the height section, I will choose one of these uh, grind texture right here. And uh, for me, I will choose this one, grind to grind 30. Just uh, click drag and put it right here. And as you see, the effect is very silly and, and very stupid, it need to be adjusted. So we could go to the balance and take this up until until we get this result as you see it's inverted point eight is okay after that I can add a level right click add the level and as you see affected channel is a base color we need the height so we need to click here and choose the height after that manipulate these arrows until you get the result you want for me this is very good it's very subtle effect i can i can reduce it more by going uh, to the opacity but i need to change the affected channel height and go to the opacity and take the opacity down about the half that's cool you can add contrast add filter and go to the contrast Limonosity it will affect the the result and will make it very very subtle So I get this result and it's very nice for me. All right now I will add a side texture for the tire I searched in the Google and I found this uh, texture You can search For such a texture like this so I will add the texture inside substance painter just drag and drop, put it right here, and this will pop up. You should define it as a texture and you can put it in the, in the project. After that, import. So this is the map right here. So to apply this texture above uh, the tire, we need to to add a new layer, I will add a fill layer 
and I will turn off everything except height and I will add a paint add a paint in the paint layer I will turn off all the channel except the height too and I will try to drop this one right here on the stencil and the stencil will uh, be appear by hitting S from the keyboard you can now control the, the stencil if you want to move it using the middle mouse button and if you want to zoom in zoom out you right click and push the mouse forward backward so now we want to uh, position the tire and you can change the uh, the view to the orthographic after that take the height a little bit up and start painting and you will see the, the results delete the stencil by pressing the X right here and now we got something interesting here we got height information let's go back to the perspective view you can add a uh, sharpen by adding a filter and go and choose a sharpen to sharpen the detail it's very subtle effect and we can add a level and target the height and make the, the information uh, more clear like that all right, that's cool. After that, I will add a dirt material, a dirt layer above, uh, above everything. So I will uh, give all the layers names. Uh, for the first layer, it is a base layer. So I will call it black base. And for the second one is for height information. So I'm gonna call it height. And this one, side texture, side. And I will add a fill layer, change the color to something like a dust. Maybe you change the dynamic to get more colors. And pick something interesting from here. After that, turn off the, the height information and give it a higher roughness like this i can change the color later if i don't like it after that give it a mask black mask and go to the smart mask right here and try to find something interesting from these choices mm, maybe 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 i'll try this one right here For me, I found this one is interesting. Occlusion, uh, it's called Occlusion Strong. I will try it, put it in the mask. And as you see, it's very nice. I like it. Maybe you can change the, the dirt, the color of the dirt, go back to the to the layer and go to the color and manipulate it a little bit yeah maybe like this 
but it needs a little bit of painting right here in this area so I will add a paint uh, paint layer right here so right click and go to paint layer and I will paint this area because I don't want them but make sure the grayscale is black and I paint them manually like this After that, I will add another dirt layer. So I'm gonna call this uh, dirt one and add the fill layer and take the roughness up like this. Turn off metallic and height information and take the color to an interesting color like this one and give it a black mask right click black mask like this and go to the smart mask and add something interesting from here for me i found dust soft 2 is very acceptable choice so i i will put it in the mask click drag and put it right here and it give me this very subtle effects maybe i can add a filter above it so click this layer and add the filter and choose maybe contrast let's try contrast yeah contrast is nice maybe you can add a sharpen add the filter and choose sharpen It's, it makes the details more noticeable and that's okay you can add a paint layer here and you can paint manually if you would like paint some area like this until we get the nice result so I think it's finished let's unhide the other parts it's very nice now you can change the resolution 4K if you want by changing the size for 4K. If you have good computer, you can switch it to 4K and export the texture. So for me, I will change it to 4K. Just uh, hit this, uh, just open this list and uh, choose the 4K. And Substance Blender will change it to 4K. As you see, I changed the texture resolution for the tire and I need to change the texture resolution for the wheel. And for the logo, I don't need actually that because it's very high detailed. I will save the project. And I will choose wheel. And as you see, the texture size is 2K, so switch it to 4K too. Okay, great, now it's finished, and the texture is very high resolution now. And for the logo, I will leave it 2K. Now almost the difference between the resolution is acceptable and very nice. You can render this uh, tire inside Substance Painter, or you can take it to Marmus Tool Bag, or you can render it inside Corona. For me, I will render inside Corona, and. I will teach you how to import the PPR texture and how to use physical material inside Corona render. So 
I will go to export uh, this textures. It's very easy. Just go to file and export texture, or you can click Control Shift E. After that, you need to pick uh, the the format. I will choose uh, JPEG and the destination folder where you where you want to save them. I will save I will save them right here. These uh, are all the textures for the logo and the tire and the wheel. After that, just hit export. When it's finished, I will be back. As you see right here, export successfully finished. So it's done, just hit OK or open folder. So now we finished the texturing part. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to render it inside Corona and how to import the texture inside Corona too. All right, I hope you have fun. See you in the next tutorial.